The Yamato Works Character Modeler tools seek to streamline various common tasks, as well as provide some more workflow-specific tools. I'll begin with the Vertex Map Kit, which consists of four plugins. Weight Map Split does exactly as its name implies, as it takes weight maps and splits them into multiple weight maps across the X, Y, or Z axis. This can be very handy when utilized after symmetrically weight painting your object. To demonstrate usage of this tool, I'll use this example model. Notice that all of the weight maps here are on both sides. Most often, you'll be using the x-axis, and it works by name matching and replacement. In the two left fields, you simply type in the part of your weight map that the tool should look for. In this case, it is the word both. The other field should contain the text that the new weight map should be given, which will almost always be left and right. Every item that you select within this list will generate separate left and right weight maps according to the settings that you've entered above. After hitting OK, you can take a look at the Vertex Maps panel, and the weight maps are ready to be used. Notice that I used the word both on the original weight maps to give this plugin something specific to search for. If your Vertex Maps don't have this explicit naming, then this next plugin called Vertex Map Renamer will be quite handy for this and any other bulk renaming tasks. Here, you can choose which Vertex Map type that you would like to make changes to, then choose how you would like to change things. Here, I'll replace the word both with all for every weight map that my object contains. Very straightforward to use, so let's move on. Weight Map Cleaner looks through all the weight maps in the model and will let you remove weighted vertex points equal to, above, or below a percent value that you specify. As there's no way to isolate this tool's operation to just the currently selected weight map, use it carefully. Map to copy is kind of a situational thing. This will transfer vertex maps from one object to another given that their geometry is similar enough to support the process. I imagine this being most useful if multiple people are working on a single model and you need a means of merging all the work that they do. In this example, let's assume that our production team has given us several versions of this model. Our base model is on layer 1, layer 2 is a version of the model with surfacing applied, and layer 3 has weight maps and morphs. To begin, you should set the object that you would like to copy from selected as the active layer. Within this panel, choose the layer that you would like to copy to, which in this case is the base model, layer 1. Then choose what you would like to transfer over. Since this is the surfaced model, I'll select surfaces and UV maps. This plugin operates based on the proximity between points, so if the two models have slightly different vertex positions, the distance threshold can be increased as needed. But if points haven't been touched, then you can leave this setting at zero. Hitting the Run button will perform the copy operation. I'll go ahead and use the tool again to transfer the weights and morphs over. What we're left with is a single model with all the vertex maps ready to use. Point position align will fit the points of one object to match another, even if their point order is completely different. This only really becomes an issue when you are doing things like passing models from one application to another, a scenario where it is very likely that the point order of an object will change. Just to demonstrate what I'm talking about, the model in Layer 1 is a model made in Lightwave, the model in layer 2 was slightly modified in Blender and then re-imported back into Lightwave. If I attempt to use background to morph to apply this change to the model, we're left with a rather ugly looking mess. This is because the point orders of these two objects do not match. So let's fix this using the point position align tool instead. These far left fields represent the layers of your object that you would like to work with. The base layer is by default set to 1, which represents the first layer of your object. 
the base layer will be transformed to match the target layer. Now, in order for this plugin to do its job, it needs from you the numbers of two adjacent points on each layer. In order to find this out, we need to be in point mode, and the selection info panel is also needed. By selecting two points and hitting Edit All, the numbers of these vertex points are displayed. This is the info we need. Now we need the equivalent two adjacent points on the Layer 2 model. With this information entered, the Reorder button can be pressed and all the points of the base object now match the target object exactly. I think the Reorder button is actually mislabeled, as no point reordering happens when using this tool. It is just fitting the points to match the target object, and because of this, any vertex maps you have in place will be preserved. 